All right, happy Halloween. Ben is happy here. Halloween. So this vlog is about, so there's a big myth about West Hollywood. Apparently when you live in West Hollywood, we all like to just drink and party, right? Yes. Apparently. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do like to put back a drink here and there. But here this, there. here and there. <laughs> but really, when people live in West Hollywood, they're doing what I'm doing right now. We're walking. It's a walking neighborhood. And that's, that's the true. point of this vlog is that for you suburban people who like to come in here and get completely drunk and you know do what you guys do from the suburbs because if we did that in your neighborhood you'd probably call the cops that's not what west hollywood is west hollywood is a neighborhood where everybody walks to the store they walk to if they want to go to the bar they can walk to the bar but that myth is really a myth that that section of west hollywood is really just a small street of bars and restaurants that people party in, correct? Yes. And Benjamin's been staying here now basically since we met. I haven't. It's a common law marriage. I'm not get loud, Josh. <laughs> Let me get loud right now. <laughs> but All is loud. I don't even know how to put this mask on correctly. The city of West Hollywood requires that we wear a mask no matter where we are. And since this household believes in science, we wear a mask. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we won't get into that. So I just kind of want to show you what it's like when you live here and you're not thrown up on the corner of a bar somewhere in West Hollywood. You, all you people who have that ideal about we will live in WeHo or what WeHo is about, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is really the real life of what it's like to live in West Hollywood. I don't have to drive my car. I don't have to park it. I can simply walk, and we're gonna be walking to Spartan Final, Target, uh, one of the places I, I can't say, because it's just not appropriate for this <laughs> vlog, but uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're, we're gonna walk to the pleasure chest. Anyhow. Um, Are we really? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Anyhow, this is the day in life of uh, what it's normally like to be here in WeHo, not, not when you for those of you who like to get drunk. So Josh loves to push me into the street when we walk. Um, I don't know why. As you notice, I had to jump in the street. Why is that camera so close to me? Okay, we're gonna... There we go. Uh... Department, always a drama going on here. Always. Oh, do you want it? We're gonna stop. We're gonna go inside and get some lotto tickets. All right, we're gonna get lotto tickets. All right, we get one mega, one power. This is our local liquor store here. Yeah. So you got all this stuff here. This is the local liquor store. We're getting a Powerball and a Mega because we're down in the areas. We had a change here, yeah. that's why we came in here. Don't let people see our numbers and crazy. Oh, well, that's <laughs> true. A, we could be the next multi-millionaires. You just never, never know. Okay, I didn't realize I had this on wide angle. So now I put the camera on linear, which should look a little bit more normal. But for those of you who don't know, this is the old Russian Jewish corridor of West Hollywood. So in this area of West Hollywood, I can't tell you what streets, but this is where all the old Russian Jews live. I'm actually, have, I'm a Russian Jew myself, but a younger one. And here you can see the That's Jewish, possible. Russian Jewish community center in the heart of West Hollywood. Now, here's a very funny story. My cousin's wife, when they first got here from Russia, they came to, uh, they came in to live in West Hollywood. And apparently they got very excited about a parade in the summertime and they ran out to the street and they, they were not so happy because this is a long time ago to see the big gay pride parade. Yeah, coming from a small town in Russia. From a small town in Russia. It's kind of funny to me now. 
Okay, uh, guys, this is strictly this little piece for the guys, maybe some of the girls. But believe it or not, in West Hollywood, if you want to see the ladies, you know what I'm talking about. We have that too here. Here we go, right here. You notice the sign says nude. Nude. You might also get a bonus between the legs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, it says nude. <laughs> Paris house, adults only. So yes, that, that does say adult only. Don't, don't bring your kids here. That's not a good idea. We're not bringing your kids to that place. But we have it. We have another thing that we have everything here that you could possibly want. And notice we're walking. On one side of the street, we have Astro Burger, which I totally love. And on the other side of the street, we have Fat Burger. We don't really have in West Hollywood a lot of fast food or chain places. It's more like mom and pops, like Astro Burger. There's no drive through for sure on Santa Monica Boulevard in yeah. West Hollywood, I feel. Yeah, there's definitely no drive through in. The West Hollywood put us on a Monica Boulevard. No, no. If you're craving Thai food, I highly recommend this Thai fusion place called Gangala Thai Fusion. I've never had a bad meal there. I'm not claiming it's the most authentic Thai place, but I will say it is really good. Right? It's a Thai American. Thai American. That basically, he just had a nice way whitewashed. I mean, we're in America, <laughs> so. Oh yeah, this you can wash your own car here. See, you got your own car wash, which I think everybody's seen these before. Got a Mercedes, Infiniti, Mercedes. Got Range Rover, BMW. Look, another, another Mercedes. Got all these, all these expensive cars. And I guess they can't afford to get their car washed from somebody else. So they have to do it themselves. Yes. They spend all their money on the car payment, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Plummer Park. And it goes all the way back to Fountain, but we're not gonna walk through it today. Does it really go all the way back to Fountain? It goes all the way back to Fountain. Oh, I didn't know that. We have Poinsettia Park and Plummer Park, but I believe this one is considered West Hollywood. And... Is Poinsettia Park not West Hollywood? I don't think it is. It's on the, uh, it's on the LA side. Is that why it looks more raggedy? Yep. Because <laughs> uh, that's how we roll in WeHo. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say. Oh, here's Smart Final. Look, this is where we're going to go on the way back. See, we haven't even been walking long. No need for a car when you live in West Hollywood. I'm breaking all those myths that you all have about my city. This is a cool little business. It's called the City Dog. And you can just... You can just take your dogs here and drop them off. See, got all these cute little dogs here. It's nice to see that they're, uh, they're back in business. All right, the reason we're actually going on a walk today is because we're going to the GameStop yes. to see the Nintendo Switch, even though it's two years old. Yes. Because suddenly, Benjamin thinks he's gonna be able to finally beat me at some games. <laughs> Do not get out. I cannot be Josh at any games. Um, at yeah, all. yeah, yeah. Like not even Battleship. The most Did you win? I game. thought you won one. I thought you won that. I won some random one, yeah. but it was like, you but, know, God was with me in that moment. Yeah. So. Um, but what's but. really cool about the walk now that we're here, I just forgot. I'll show you in a second. But we're actually right here is a movie studio. Let's see. I really don't even know what's behind there. Imagine you just recorded <laughs> someone like naked or something. Let's see here. Let's see. Or murder scene. I personally don't think we recorded anything but office building, but that is a movie studio behind these walls. Thank God for selfie sticks that are long. Thank God for invasion of privacy. Oh yeah, so this is cool. So yep, it's probably just like I thought it was just but we're going to show you this. Check it out. They have this cool little thing 
and I really don't know if you can see but they have like a little movie set thing that you can look in <laughs> let's see oh yeah I see it yeah so if you come to West Hollywood we do have movie studio a lot of people don't know this is here yeah I didn't know this was here yeah it's a movie studio right here that's an expensive piece of real estate mm -hmm. All right, this is the Formosa Cafe, and I believe this has finally been designated as a West Hollywood landmark. So I don't think anybody can tear it down, but it's a Chinese restaurant that I think the chef now has come from New York, a famous Asian chef in New York. I don't remember his name, so I don't want to say it, but yes, it is still here, but I don't think it's been operating since the pandemic began. His name is, you ready? Yeah. We are almost at the GameStop. This is our local Target. Is it a Target city or is it full on Target? It's a full Target. Very nice. Full Target. Full Target. And there's Best Buy, Target, Bevmo, Ocean Beauty, Hot, Juicy, Crawfish, Happy Nails, Hermosa Cafe. There's a couple electronic stores besides us. And across La Brea yeah. is where it becomes LA. So this is how easy it is to walk to where you're going. That's the whole purpose of this. And we're going to go into GameStop now, so we'll see you maybe afterwards if I feel like there's something we should talk about. Yes. Yes. In case Josh buys me a gift. Don't I'm forget to <laughs> subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Yes. Doorbell. <laughs>